What's up guys, Moon Man here, and I'm in Oak Hill, West Virginia today. And I'm right outside the hospital, starting this video in a different spot than most do for this topic, but I'm right outside this hospital, uh, and I'm about to tell you why. So, let's see. Because this hospital, specifically this old section, is where Hank Williams was pronounced dead, the legendary country star. And right across the street from it, the Main Street Pharmacy used to be Tyree Funeral Home. And that's where his body, they did all the stuff on his body. And his body sat for days before his mother came up here to claim the body and have it sent back down to Alabama for his funeral. And Hank Williams' last ride. He had a show that he was supposed to do in Charleston on a pair of New Year's Eve shows and uh, he couldn't make it. Um, so, you know, dense fog and stuff. And he couldn't go by airplane or anything. So they had to go towards uh, Ohio, Canton, Ohio. And uh, at the time, the interstate really wasn't, didn't, either didn't exist in the area or just wasn't fully completed. And uh, they had to take these state highways and um, where the, where the eight, like the, um, the 18 year old taxi driver found him dead. Discovery was dead, it was actually at a diner, maybe 20 minutes from here. And we're about to go there in just a moment. And, this here talks about the Tyree funeral home that I was telling you about where it kept his body. Uh, they dressed him, got him down to Montgomery. 20,000 people went to his funeral. He died New Year's Day, 1953. So let's get on down. They got a memorial plaque over here. I'll show, I'll tell you some more things about what happened um, on the way to Oak Hill from like the way to the downtown from where he actually was found dead at. And uh, we'll look at a plaque and let's go do it. All right. And out here, at this uh library which was also i think used as a city hall at some point um they do have a plaque that was donated by a bunch of different people including some from the opry memorializing hank williams and the reason it's right here and not at where they originally wanted to put it at which was going to be a museum and the gas station that the driver stopped at on the way uh it stood right there across the street on the other side of this truck and the people on the gas station whenever they approached them to um you know do the gas station or to make it the museum wanted like a certain amount of money for it this is what i heard anyway and then they weren't didn't want to give him that amount but it kind of gave him a different amount that in their head and he tore it down and you know and uh I don't think they really like it, to be honest, because it was definitely right where that mound is. Because on the other side of that mound, there is little pieces where you can see where the gas pumps would have sat. Uh, but when we pulled in there, uh, they didn't seem too friendly. They didn't really like it. Or uh, shaking their head at us and stuff. So we're not going to go over there. We're just going to be respectful in, in this rainy day and just whatever. But yeah, that's where the driver asked for directions to, you know, to the hospital, which is just right down the road there. So. Pretty cool. All right, so the story being, Hank left Knoxville or Nashville uh, at night. He had a driver, his last name was Carr, he was 18 years old, and he drove hit Hank. Uh, whenever they got Hank out of the hotel there to put him in the car, he made a weird gurgling noise. And uh, they drove, he had uh, some, like I said earlier, he had some concerts to do a pair of them on New Year's Eve in Charleston, West Virginia, but they couldn't make it. And they couldn't fly, so he had to take the, he had to take the car and uh, they were going to Canton, Ohio, and they were driving through this area on the highway. And um, the driver went in. Some accounts say he didn't ask Hank if he wanted anything to eat. Some say he did, and Hank said no. Went in and ate at a skyline dri dive in that I'm about to show you. Drive in that I'm about to show you. And whenever uh, somebody, two stories exist to that the driver came outside and saw Hank dead and had a problem. And then another one is somebody saw it too and. Somebody else saw it, came in and got the driver and said, you got a problem. Uh, but either way, they rushed down there to that hospital we'd seen. They stopped at a get, the get, the, where the gas station was, just right down the road from it, still asking for directions on how to get further to it. A little brick part of the hospital was still there. And Hank Rigor Mortis had already set in. So the pot, he, when they say died here, this was a, definitely his last stop, but he might have died anywhere between Tennessee and here. So take that as you will. Well, there it is in all its glory. Place Hank Williams' body was found. 
dead in his blue Cadillac. And I know this is a short video, you know, we're not detailing stuff in the greatest ability that we're able to. But when he's passing through, and Hank is one of my all time favorites, I just had to come pay my respects to the legend himself. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, like, subscribe, favorite, uh, share. Moon Man.